Welcome to our demonstration on how to configure a link aggregation group, or LAG, with the vSphere distributed switch. Begin by logging on to the vSphere web client and navigate to the networking section. Select the distributed switch and then click on LACP. Click on the plus sign to create a new LAG group. Assign a name to the new LAG group and select the type of mode you wish to create. You can choose either passive or active for the mode. Then select the load balancing mode. Ensure that the settings you select match the configuration on your physical switch. For this demo, we retain the defaults and click OK. Now we have the new lag group created. We also see some suggested steps or workflows to migrate network traffic to a lag without losing network connectivity. This is one of the new features on the 5.5 web client. The first step is to assign the lag to the port group we will use it on and put it in standby mode. We will put the lag on VM Net 1. To do that, we select the port group, go to Settings, and click on Edit. We go to the Teaming and Failover section, select the lag, and click on the arrow to put it into standby mode. This warning informs that this is not a valid configuration. It is only useful for the intermediate step which we are doing. Click OK. Now we need to go to the distributed switch itself. We look at the topology and see the lag listed. Notice that there are no NICs connected to the lag. We right-click on the distributed switch object and go to Add and Manage Hosts. Select Manage Host Networking. Click on the plus sign. Select the hosts and click OK. Choose to manage the physical adapters and deselect Manage VM Kernel Adapters and click Next. Here we need to select the NICs. We will take NIC 2 and 3 from each of these hosts and assign them to the two ports for the lag. We repeat this for all three hosts in our environment and click on Next. We see that there is no impact, so we click on Next and click on Finish. Look at the related objects on the VM Net1 port group. By clicking on the Virtual Machines tab, we see two virtual machines, Web01 and Web02. We then open a terminal window and connect to Web01 using an SSH connection to verify network connectivity. Next, we go back to Edit Settings on VM Net 1. Go to Teaming and Failover and move all the uplinks to Unused. Move the lag under Active Uplinks. We will also change the load balancing to use Explicit Failover Order as the lag manages the NICs in the group. We go back to the SSH session. As we can see, we didn't lose connectivity as this is a non-disruptive change to the environment. We go back and look at the distributed switch and view the topology. We see that we now have NICs connected to lag. We drill down to VMNet1 and we see that the lag is the active uplink. The rest of them have been set as unused uplinks. This concludes our demonstration on how to configure a link aggregation group available with vSphere distributed switch. Thank you.